In whatever you do, you're not going to stand out unless you think big and have ideas that are truly original. That comes from tapping into your own creativity, not obsessing over what everyone else is doing. Sophia Amoroso, founder of Nasty Gal. Hey everyone, welcome to Quotes to Live By. I'm John Timmerman and Sophia Amoroso is uh, bringing fire. I'm not even sure if I pronounced her name right. Amoruso. Amoruso. Uh, either way, uh, I am familiar. I just didn't know how to pronounce her last name. Very familiar with Sophia. I followed her as she started Nasty Gal. Uh, she was a powerhouse. And although Nasty Gal, you know, sort of ended in, an, in not a great way, it wasn't necessarily her fault alone. Um, but you can read that story in, in one of her books or podcasts. I think she has her own show, actually. But the quote is something that hits me near dear to my heart because I would say I'm, you know, I'm a confident guy. I, I uh, take big risks and I'm not shy of going after it. Um, but when I do this, I often look to other people for inspiration and I do it in such a way that it often seeps into my brain and influences the way that I do things. And I would say that sometimes I obsess about how other people do things, not individually, I don't look to other people for my own inspiration individually. I do it with my business. And so I look at other businesses and I say, oh, they're doing this. That must be, we should do this too. And I often try to cram too much into it without identifying the things that we need and just going all in on those things that we need and being independent and taking ideas and things other people are doing, other businesses are doing with a grain of salt. And I think Sophia nailed it on the head. Don't obsess over what everyone else is doing. It's the easiest way to get confused, to get off track, to have the uh, plastic bag syndrome where you're changing directions too fast. And God knows, you can ask my team, uh, I, I do this way too much and I need help sometimes staying on track and doing the things that we're doing well. And I'm getting better at it and I constantly work at it. Um, but some of those things that you need to realize that you have internally are your own creativity. You have the ideas. A lot of times we know what to do. We just, we just look to outside sources for that confirmation. And if there's not enough outside sources that will give us that confirmation, we start to doubt ourselves, our own strategies, our own tactics. And that's often what happens. So Sophia's got it down. My suggestion on how to adopt this and put it into your own life is to make sure that you do your own research, not just are other people doing it, but if you're looking, let's say for your business, go to your actual customers and ask them if they would pay for that thing, if they would buy that thing. You know, if, if they could have one more thing from your business, what would it be? Go and ask them, ask other people their opinions and then correlate their opinions with what your capabilities are and what your gut feeling is. If there's actual research studies and data, let that influence your decision as well. If you go and look at what other competitors are doing or other people in your industry are doing and it doesn't match up with what you see, don't automatically discount it. Find a way to test it out independent from what everyone else is doing because if they're not doing it, it might be a huge opportunity. I'll give you an example. Uh, I'm consulting as the chief revenue officer for a company in the food service space. Very well-built company, but old school. They need help digitizing, going into the technological age and utilizing digital media and things like that to further grow their brand. And uh, when I came on, uh, the, the team was looking to their competitors and other people in industry to see what they were doing, particularly with catalogs, physical, actual paper catalogs that they were sending out. And uh, you know and I know that catalogs are flipped through and thrown in the trash 99% of the time. However, some people on the team looked at their competitors and said, well, they still have catalogs. We should probably still have catalogs too. So that's a huge uh, money suck. It's a huge financial burden to print catalogs and there's much more efficient ways to do it, namely PDFs and digital uh, 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 translation of that, those catalogs online. People will Eat, read them in their emails or on the website. We all know that. But just by looking at your competitors and seeing that they're doing it, it could kneecap you to being more efficient, uh, saving some money and giving your customers actually what they want. 
So that was a long-winded way of describing Sophia's amazing quote. In whatever you do, you're not going to stand out unless you think big and have ideas that are truly original. That comes from tapping your own creativity and not obsessing over what everyone else is doing. So make sure you tap into your own creativity. Run the numbers, survey your customers, get the real data, make a decision based on that, and mitigate your risks as much as you can. That's how you're going to get to the next level and stand out. If you found this quote helpful, don't forget to leave me a comment on my YouTube video. Agree, disagree with my analysis, let me know. I'm over there to chat with you. Uh, you can also hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. Spend a lot of time on there. And if you're on Clubhouse, everyone knows Clubhouse by now. Uh, find me, John Timmerman, on Clubhouse. I'd love to uh, open up a chat with you and maybe even share a room. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube or podcast for more content just like this. Have a great day.